Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Saturday the 16th of August 2025. I hope you are feeling well, keeping well, staying healthy and enjoying your life as best you possibly can. I think if I were in the Democrat Party in the US, I would try to desperately do something about the horrific levels of misinformation and disinformation. I think that one thing they might be able to do is to promise solemnly that people will be prosecuted, uh, government officials, I should say, should be prosecuted if they purposely remove uh, information that affects the safety of people or that actively promotes misinformation or disinformation that makes it life dangerous for people. What am I talking about? Well, of course, mostly kind of the uh, just the way that the uh, that Doge and other things have removed uh, information from government websites and are destroying departments that could um, for example, predict the weather or help with, uh, you know, emergency response, and which will lead to people's deaths. And uh, then even more seriously than that, the uh, vaccine misinformation, disinformation and removal of vaccine information from government websites in the US. Uh, in particular, people like RFK Jr., who is about to or sorry, who is currently calling for a magazine. Remember, he is a non-scientist. Uh, not only is he dumb, he definitely is not a scientist. And he is calling for an article to be removed from a scientific publication because he doesn't agree with it. Well, he doesn't have the knowledge of science scientists and he he's not a researcher. And, uh, you know, but basically he, he doesn't feel like it. It's about, of course, it's related to autism. It's related to aluminium in um, uh, vaccines and uh uh, showing that there is a lack of correlation between uh, increased amount of aluminium and increased levels of autism, it, it, it shows that there, that there isn't likely to be any, an effect. It's not a study even conducted in the US, it's conducted in other countries, but he wants it removed from a scientific journal. Why? Because it hurts his idea, his dumb idea of a completely unfounded idea that vaccines cause autism again and again and again this has been proven not to be true uh, but he just won't give up on it and so I think that Democrats need to say look anybody that does this will be held responsible when people die because people are going to die from this uh, this and other things um, you know where, where where they are just being so dumb um, that they are making life uh, dangerous for people so go on Democrats play hardball promise to do something like that that would be good wouldn't it uh, see what happens i mean you know maybe they won't take any they probably wouldn't take any notice anyway because i don't think they ever think they're going to be dealt with any consequences but uh you know a couple of people might stop and think federal that that was my suggestion for people in, employed by the government whether politicians or federal workers okay let's go on with our game of sudoku shall we enough with the chatter uh, and the silly ideas that will never be implemented. Uh, let's try digit eight in this square here as our first digit for the Los Angeles Times expert level puzzle, a game that I will play regularly in October, I suspect, daily, uh, when I will be probably out of work again. Eight's blocking up and across here like this. There's the eight there. We've got eight blocking down to the bottom here and across. Oh, actually, we can do better than that. Eight's across there. There we go. There's an eight. Eight going up here, down here, across this way, across that way. And there's a lovely little eight. In fact, the final digit eight. Wow. How about that? Thank you, digit eight. Uh, looks like we can do something with twos here. Twos blocking across and across there. Fives make their way leftwards, and a five from the bottom up will say, hey, there's a five. Five. 
five over to the right, five down here. Five must be in square A or B there. <laughs> I don't know why I call them A or B. Why not call them anything random? Very loud motorbikes outside. I'm sorry about that if you're picking up that sound. Can't do much about it. This is Bangkok where I'm playing this game. We are very noisy in Bangkok, generally speaking. There's a five. Especially motorbike noises. All right, let's go through one at a time and see where it takes us. Okay, two up here and two across there. So two in one of those two squares blocking across, two blocking up there. There's a two. Oh, nice three blocking across there. There we are, a three blocking across this way and this way and a three down there. So there's oh, three for that block. Now nine blocks this square here. So in that row, that's a nine and the last number for the row is four. Four blocking up here and down there, there's a four. Let's look at this little trio of cells down here and see what goes in there, shall we? That's two, six, and nine. And guess what? We've got sixes, but oh no, it's not. We've got six there. My, I'm sorry. It's two, four, and nine. Oh dear. Not quite as good, but we still got two and four together. <clears throat> so that means those squares will be two and four, and that's going to be a nine. Two is in one of these empty squares here, blocking across, two blocking down there. That must be a two. Four 
4 is in one of these empty squares here, so that can't be 4. 4 also blocks across here, so in this column, that must be our 4. four blocks down here and up here four blocks across there so four will be either here or there whichever one it's in blocking all the way down that'll give us a four in that square there so if it's a bit noisy in the background but four blocking up here and across there actually four has to be in one of these squares so that can't be a four that's got to be a four a bit noisy here my neighbors are chatting loudly <clears throat> so it looks like we're missing a few sixes and sevens we've got six seven here there there and there those are all six or seven. Okay, so we've got one and three in this column here, or one and three in this column here, so that leaves us definitely with a pair of one and three in those squares there. So if that's one and three, when nine blocks across there, it means that's going to be a nine. And then we go back in this direction for the nines, and nine blocking up there means that's a nine just there. We've got nines to the top now, up here, up there, and that's the last possible place a nine can go in the top row uh, one seven there can we do anything I'm not sure yet uh, back over here now what did I discover that was one and three right so these are not one or three there must be six and seven yeah which is what I said down here right six seven so we got a pair of six and seven over here so these squares are not six or seven they are one three five and we've got three blocking here, three blocking there, so that must be our three then. And we will have one and five in those squares as a pair. But not yet. Let's also check out this. If we've got one and three in these squares, uh, the rest of the numbers for the column are... Uh, six, seven, nine, I think. Oh, yeah, of course, we've got our six, seven down here. That makes sense. Uh, not sure what's going on up there. Uh, nines are in those squares there. Okay, uh, digit eight is our completed digit. Everything else still to play for. Let's just wander around, I think. See, we, it might be time to do that. We've got one blocking here one blocking there so that will give us a one in that column uh, presumably we've got our sixes and sevens here and there because we've got six seven there and there so yes do we have any news on that yet no that's got to be a six or a seven you know when we get to this stage we're going to get one of them and then the whole lot will fall uh, like dominoes Okay, we've got three and seven blocking up there. That means those two squares must be three and seven. And these will not. They will be one and five. A pair of one and five in these squares here. So one blocking up here, one blocking up here, and one across there. It means that is our one. And now we know that, that is our seven. One blocks across here, that gives us one in that square, and this will be our six. 
And so now here we go. Seven, six, seven, six, six. Uh, that one there's a seven, wasn't it? I do believe so. Uh, and now the last digit up there is a six. Okay. Well, that was a nice little flurry, wasn't it? We've also got sixes across here, across there, and up here. I think this is the last digit six, in fact. Yes, it was. Seven blocks down here. So there is our seven, and seven across there, and up there will give us seven in that square. Uh, seven blocking up. And up there gives us seven here, seven across there. There's a seven missing number. There is nine. Nine across there, nine up there. There's a nine. One more number to go for that row. What are you? Are you a two? Yes, you are. Missing numbers here are three, four. I think we've got three blocking up there. There's a three. Is it four? Yes, it is. Okay, four blocking to the bottom. There's our four. Missing number there, two. All right, okay, we've only got one, three, and five to go. Everything else is done. So let's click on a one. Uh, can we, can we? Not sure. Let's click on a three. So three blocking up here will give us three in that square, three across there. There's our three. That's the end of that. We need a one in this square here. Now one across there. There's our one, one blocking there. There's our one. This will be a five. That will be a five. That's all over. That's our expert level puzzle finished from the LA Times. Thank you for joining me. S um, you know, stay on the channel. Keep clicking and keep the channel alive. Thank you for doing that. Thank you. Bye bye. Take care.